Hi, Westwood family, and welcome to spring. It's been so wonderful to get out and experience the warm air and the signs of a new season before us. It's also been enjoyable to see some of you when I go for my prayer walks at the park and others of you when I run through our neighborhood or do errands around town, and it's been really, really good. You know, one of the things that I've been learning about myself is that I value being with others more than I value being alone. I feel like I'm more productive and more energized when I'm with people. So for me, this season that we're in is going to test me and stretch me in this area of my life. At the same time, the season of less people is also allowing me to catch up on some personal growth and development, which is also needed. Areas that are often pushed aside in my regular rhythm of life and ministry. So one book that was given to me, which I'm currently reading, is called Crucial Conversations. It's a book that highlights the need for skillful dialogue with another person when opinions vary, when the stakes are high, and when emotions can get away on us. So filling my toolbox with some practical tools like this is actually very meaningful personal development in this season. How about you? What are you learning about yourself in this time of social distancing? How are you using this time to develop and to grow in areas of your life that may not always get the attention they deserve in your normal routine? I'm reminded of Paul's words to Timothy when he says, train yourself to be godly. And training always requires effort. You have to invest time and patience and plain old hard work to look at the things in your life that require growth. So let me encourage you to identify one thing that you're learning about yourself as you social distance, and then explore that area a little more, maybe by reading up on it, for sure by praying for spiritual insight, asking the Lord to teach you something, and then implementing what you learn. You know, if we come through this season with a few more skills in our toolbox or a more refined character rooted in Christ, it's gonna be worth it. So keep hanging in there. And if you want to go for a walk with me down at the park, no less than six feet apart, of course, send me an email and I'd love to touch base. Now on another note, on behalf of our staff, I want to thank you for the encouragement and the gratitude that we receive regularly for the online ministry we're working at together as a team. It continues to be a work in progress as we seek to serve the greater body. We're planning on adding a children's component for Sunday mornings and a midweek online forum to discuss the previous Sunday's sermon. Thanks also for your prayer, for your financial giving, and your patience. We're gonna get through this together and we're gonna be better for it because God is greater. I hope you have a great weekend.